Jeremy Zuniga, Enterprise Architect with Alliance Resource Partners. One of the biggest benefits that we just experienced was we actually went through an Oracle eBusiness Suite R11 to R12 migration. Three quarters of a terabyte database. Oracle came in and said, this should take you somewhere around 24 to 36 hours. Realistically, at the end of the day, it took 10 hours, and a lot of that had to do with the three-par back-end storage system and our ability to transform the actual virtual volumes and the I.O., the RAID configurations, within minutes. We had one instance where we took the entire 750 gig database, that virtual volume, from fast cache to SSD in six minutes. We've actually had a number of drives fail over a three-year period, and actually before that, we had on the EMC and other systems, we'd see drives fail. The drive failures, however, and the way that uh, the predictability comes about and the disk is actually evacuated on a three-par and it's done you know, preemptively, that's been a game changer for us. Rather than watching an entire RAID uh, volume go offline or become poor performing or unstable, we don't have that. Mechanical devices are gonna fail. Uh, ideally, they don't impact your business. That's been one of the big things for us. You know, overall, uh, our ability to add storage, uh, increase the IOs on demand and as needed, I can't ask a whole lot more uh, based upon the choices that we made. There are, of course, more scalable uh, aspects of 3PAR out there than what we have landed on, but based upon what we utilize and the choices that we made, we're still well within. With the insight that we get as far as disk usage, we are actually able to more properly calculate our capacity though with thin provisioning so we're not just stamping out storage and saying, hey, it's wholly dedicated. We have no idea kind of what our growth is. Uh, you know, it's wasted over here and needed over here. We don't run into that. It's used through the thin provisioning capabilities across the platform. So that's another aspect of scalability that I think, you know, you don't necessarily find in other systems. We actually, during our migration, had a very choreographed, timed execution of needing to transform virtual volumes from one level, uh, from one tier to the next. AO wasn't necessarily getting us there. It would need to see and predict, and these were ad hoc, one-off, it was gonna happen this one time workload and never happen again. And so one of the things that's been thrown out is, hey, could you all give us some ability to actually choreograph that to actually be able to lay it out and then trigger it fly by wire in a way, but have it pre you know, pre laid out.